All right, we're here on the NW TV show in a new venue to everybody here at Clawson. Ed Dooley's, thank you again for having this show here. And we have here Dave Bergman from the Detroit Tigers. Dave, uh, again, a member of the 1984 World Series team. A big year for the Tigers coming up. What is happening with this team? Well, obviously there's been some major changes. And as I shared with you before when we were talking um, offline was uh, I'm more excited about this season than I have been for the last 10 years with the Tigers, even though I've been very excited about those seasons too. But I think, I think what Dave Dombrowski has done this year um, could conceivably get them over the hump when it comes to postseason. We're at that position where this team has been so solid for so long that we, we expect them to be in the playoffs now. And they certainly have the talent to get in the playoffs. But now we got to figure out a way to win that World Series. Talk a little bit about Dave. Brad Ausmus coming into a new situation, a leader by example as a catcher for the Detroit Tigers for a couple years in his stand. So now what is Brad Ausmus' uh, symbol of excellence in your opinion? Well, that's the unknown. He is, uh, you know, as a player, he was a leader. Uh, he certainly has credibility because he was considered a very, very um, smart catcher. But as far as a big league manager, we don't know what to expect from Brad Osmus yet. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how he's going to do certain things. He's got a different type of a ball club where there's going to be a little bit more of uh, times during a game where he's going to consider manufacturing some runs. And what I mean by that is uh, somebody with some speed gets on base, they steal second base, they get him over, the third base, sacrifice fly, boom, they score a run. We, don't, we haven't seen too much of that in the last number of years here in Detroit. I think the Tigers had 35 stolen bases as a, as a team last year, and probably... You know, five to ten of those were in a situation where they just completely caught the other team off guard, so they weren't what I call pure stolen bases. Mm -hmm. But now with some of the additions that they've made during the offseason, they've actually got some guys that can truly steal a base. Rick Porcello is going to be a very big key for the Tigers this year. He's coming off a, a year of basically trying to understand what his role is now on this pitching staff. I think personally, Dave, and we've talked off camera that he can win the 19 games. He is a guy that's going to be a take charge, smart pitcher. Well, for me, he's already been that. But uh, for somebody as young as he is, I am just amazed at how mature he is and how he is a spun for, sponge for knowledge and how he wants to get better all the time. Uh, that was one of the things that uh, really impressed me about Curtis Granderson when he was here. Uh, his, his, uh, his whole goal every day he went to the ballpark was to get a little bit better each day. Well, Rick Pacella, in my mind, uh, wants to do the same thing. And I think this is the year where he's going to break out. Now, does that mean he's going to win 15 games, or does that mean he's going to win 20 games? You predicted 19. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a great number. Uh, I think everybody would be thrilled if he won 19 games. Uh, he's certainly capable of doing that. And, and it's just a matter of, um, you know, how the defense plays behind him because he is a ground ball pitcher, and he's, and he's trying to pitch at a big part of the, of the field. So, you know, up the middle is going to be pretty strong this year. And, of course, you've got, uh, you know, center field covered very well. So um, I'm, I'm excited for Rick. I think that he is... Um, He's got a chance to be something special. I know athletes do not make predictions, and I'm not going to put you to prediction. I do think the Tigers are going to be a big factor in winning the American League Central this year. But I can ask you, what is the key to the Tigers' success? Because Kansas City is going to have one of their best teams in a lot of years. Well, I don't care how good Kansas City is going to be. If the Tigers play like they're capable of playing, they're not going to be better than the Tigers. So the key is, is that they, if they have injuries, they have one at a time, where they don't have um, multiple injuries to key players at the same time, where maybe they go a month where they're missing, you know, three guys out of the, out of their lineup, or they, 
they lose two or three of their starting pitchers because of a bad arm or whatever the case may be. And it's like anything else. Uh, injuries play a major, major part of a long, long season. But if the, if the Tigers can stay relatively healthy and play like they're capable of playing, like, like I said, I am really excited about this season. You have a player that you played with in your career that I totally admire, Joe Necro. And uh, Joe Necro is a great pitcher that he was in his career. You've carried his legacy of what his uh, values are. There's an event coming up, and I'd like you to tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's um, I'm honored to be the chairman of the board of the Joe Necro Foundation for Brain Aneurysm Research and Awareness. And as the chairman of the board, I have decided that I wanted to do some events here locally in Detroit. And I'm actually doing my second event here. The first event, I'm, I'm sorry, the, 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 the event that I'm going to be doing is going to be June the 11th at the Motor City Casino. And the theme of the event is going to be the Decade of the Tigers. And it's going to be the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s. That's going to be part one. And then next year, we're going to do part two, which is going to be 1990, 2000, and 2010. And basically, it's going to be a Q&A with players representing the era of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Uh, Eli Zerrett is going to be the MC. Uh, my committed players right now for the 60s are Al Kaline, Willie Horton, and Mickey Lolich. For the 70s was a little bit more of a challenge, but, uh, but I've got John Walkenfuss and I've got Steve Kemp. And then for the 80s, it's kind of exciting because I've got Lou Whitaker coming in and Dave Rosemo, who's always fun telling stories, and then our special guest, Tom Monahan. And we will also have some, uh, some other guests that will be there, but not necessarily part of the Q&A. And uh, that would be somebody like myself, Dan Petrie, John Borden, and some other players that were um, a member of the either 68 or 84 championship teams. The, um, all the proceeds are going to be going to the Joe Necro Foundation, and we in turn will then uh, pass out money to some of the local hospitals or uh, research centers that are specializing in aneurysm research. Do we have a website? Do we have any kind of contact information that we can link to in DeBeat to give out to the public? www.joenecrofoundation.org Scroll down to where it says events, and the first event that you will see that I'm personally doing is called the Decade of the Tigers. And then the second event that you'll see, which is something else that I do, is a, is a baseball fantasy camp in Las Vegas, and that's going to be in November. So maybe your listeners might be interested in uh, both of these events. But um, I'm just thrilled that Motor City stepped up and became our World Series sponsor for the for the event, they were at my event last summer and liked what it was that I that I did, and they said that they wanted to get involved at a bigger level this year. And gosh, they sure did. And uh, it's because of them that we're going to be able to pull this thing off and hopefully have 300 to 350 people at this event. We like to have a lot more of our listeners to be at this event, so definitely uh, JoeNecroFoundation.org is a uh, contact uh, information. And for Dave Bergman, I'm Rich Curbello here. Dave, thank you again, and uh, we'll be back with more from the NWTV show at Dooley's in Clawson right after.